Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video, we'll explore the new UI features of Maximo Manage in Mass by doing a comparison with Maximo 7.6. This will help give you additional information as you work to understand the differences between the various releases. So let's start by looking at the toolbar. This is on the far right hand side and enables the user to navigate within the application. In this screenshot, you'll see Maximo Manage 8 within the Maximo application suite on the top. And if we draw your attention over here to the far right hand side, these are the navigation items that we'll be exploring. There's a bulletin board, there's reports, the ability to look for additional information or help, the profile, and then the new navigation, which is very different than we have over here in Maximo 761. Many of the icons are the same. Again, the bulletin board. Reports has a slightly different icon, but the functionality is the same. But then we start to see some of those differences with the profile and being able to log out. And that's what we want to highlight here in the next slide is to break those down to show you the differences again in the toolbar of the navigation menu. Bulletin board again, same functionality, essentially the same icon. Report, same functionality, slightly different icon. Help, you're going to see more help available in Maximo Manage 8, including the ability to directly input an enhancement request from that menu icon. Profile is a little bit different. The icons are the same, but within Maximo Manage 8, the ability for the user to log out is contained within the profile icon. And that's really important the user log out on a regular basis when they're not using the system because we want to make sure we return those app points to the pool for others to use. So really important to highlight where the logout functionality is in Maximo Manage 8. Navigation is new because we need to enable our users within Manage Maximo to access other products within the application suite. For example, health or monitor or predict. And then as you can see here in Maximo 761, slightly different icon to, to log out that's not in the profile section and there's a different way to do it. So let's explore these differences by actually taking a look at the products now. So let's start with a Maximo 761 instance and explore the toolbar. Drawing your attention to the far right hand side, let's take a look at the icons. First is a bulletin board. If I had any that I needed to pay attention to, I would see it highlighted with a number next to the bulletin board. Or if I simply click it, it's going to tell me that I don't have any at this time. Next is the chart icon or the graph. If I click on that, for all the applications that I have access to, if those applications have reports registered to them, I can access them directly here from this icon. Next is my profile button. If I have security access to, I can change my personal information, I can change my default information, I could change my password, etc. Next is where we sign out. And this is followed by the question mark. The question mark icon is really powerful. I can either find general information on Maximo. I can do what we call launching context to specific application help. So in this case, I'm on the Start Center. This will launch me directly to Start Center knowledge base documents. If I was in assets, it would launch me to the asset knowledge base information. So a lot of great, powerful functionality, quick access up here in the toolbar button with Maximo 761. And now let's jump over to Maximo Application Suite with Maximo Manage 8. And again, drawing your attention to the top right hand side, you can see the bulletin board, the same icon we saw in 761, followed by reports. If I select reports, I can see all the applications that I have access to that have reports that I could run. I can click over here, and now we're going to start to see some differences. If I click on the help, I'm going to have more features available. For example, I can directly request an enhancement right from the Maximo application suite that I'm logged into. If I click on profile, you're going to notice a couple important things. And one is I see the same information that I had in 761, but this is where the user is going to log out. This is going to be extremely important in Maximo application suite 
because we want the users to log out when they're not using the system so their application points go back in the pool and others can draw from them. So really important for the user to know where to log out. And then lastly, this is a new feature. If I click on the last navigation, what this is going to give me access to is all the different applications that I have access to within the suite. So if I want to navigate, for example, from Maximo Manage to, like, say, Monitor, I would navigate directly here. I don't have to go back to the home portal within the Maximo Application Suite. This is the way that I would navigate to the various applications. And again, now I am here in Monitor. I click back on my navigation menu to go back to Manage, and that will bring me back to the, the home center that I was at. So that's a quick review of the differences of the toolbar, the navigation bar in Maximo 761 and the application suite. Thank you.